All right, good evening, everybody. Ryan here from Mr. Owls Gaming, and I'm continuing my New Year, New Year's week. Came back on Tuesday, come back on Thursday. A lot more G.I. Joe the deck building action. Oh my gosh, do I love this! Love this game. It's one of my favorites, it's probably my favorite from uh 2022 and and whatnot so i am just going to continue this week i'm going to end off this week playing some more gi joe deck building game for you and i'm going to be featuring oh gosh i don't even have it i'm always so bad for getting it ready and what i'm going to be playing with the cold snap expansion set tonight and taking a look at i believe i'm going to do mission oh yes i'm going to do mission five i'm going to do mission five that features the Snowblind cards. And I've seeded the complication deck with some of the new with the new complications. And hopefully we do to get to see some of the dreadnoughts that come into play here. Nice big baddie group from the G.I. Joe universe. And they come in and they mess up the whole situation. And so they are, they really do like to put a big old wrench into things. And also we have these towable um terrain vehicle towable assets that's what they call them towable assets and these are just extra things that we can bring on missions with us at, but at the expense of we do have to discard um joes out of our hand in order to bring them along so we have to instead of bringing joes along we can bring on these uh towable assets and they give us a wide range of additional things that can uh come on can come play so i'm going to be taking a look at i'm going to be doing mission number five which is what how about that it is called cold snap i'm going to read it right here it says cobra with the help of destro's weather dominator device are set on changing the weather patterns around the earth their goal is to usher in a second ice age if the leaders of the world do not submit to cobra commander's ultimate rule so yes lots of snow and everything is coming into play and one of the main uh, mechanics that come out here is now that there are these snow blind cards underneath the story card so once this first story comes into play i can't actually see what the next story mission is yet until i deal with the the cold snap the cold effect that's covering it up first and if i don't deal with that cold effect by the time the next story card has to come in i have to suffer some sort of small little penalty and actually sometimes those penalties ain't so small so there's that. And I have to make a choice here. Um, this expansion does come with two new Joe leader cards. We've got Gung Ho here, um, providing us with some stealth at the, off the bat. And when Gung Ho is on a mission, you may bring a total asset along for a minus one Joe cost. And this is the leader I will be choosing for tonight because I do want to show off the total asset. Uh, mechanic that this expansion does bring in so i will be choosing to play solo with gung ho here and his promoted side gives him some stealth and martial arts and then you can bring along total assets at minus two and the highest cost that they are are two so i can bring in total assets for free pretty much what if i get him all the way promoted the other joe that comes into this box is a uh, snow job and he comes with um, explosives trait and when he's on a mission he can consider all the that mission is considered to have the snowy terrain um, which is big in the fact that there's going to be some all-terrain vehicles that are good with snowy terrain and then his his promoted side is actually really good here um, not only do the um, snow job is on a mission all terrain types count as snow and all terrain bonuses abilities on transports activate which is really can be really really good but i am not playing with snow job tonight i am going to be playing with gung ho so i'm going to put that promoted leader just off to the side and i will shuffle in gung ho into my starting deck of joe's and basic equipment cards and we are just going to hit the ground running i will put a link in the description of this video later on for my original gi joe deck building game run through the core box um, and i'll also put a link into tuesday night's stream which was i played through the rise of the serpent expansion set and showed off what it had to offer 
And now I'm rounding out the trilogy here. I'm playing with a little bit of the Cold Snap. And I guess as I'm shuffling this up, I'm just going to remind everybody that you have, if you have not already, hit the like button on this video. Just make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every Tuesday and Thursday evenings that I am going live playing a little bit of everything these days. Uh, this week was solely G.I. Joe. I don't normally just do a whole week of just one game, but hey, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Hey, it's my show. It's a, a, my party. I'll cry if I want to. I can do exactly whatever I want. Okay, those are all shuffled up. Let's get to her. Five cards. One, two, three, four, five. There's my draw pile. Drop, I'll put my draw pile over here. Just give me a little bit of extra room, and I'll put my discard pile right here. Okay, let's see what we got here. So in solo mode here, and of course, the first mission, the story mission is not in play yet. We get a couple turns here just to kind of build up our abilities here, and then we will run through all of that end-of-round shenanigans. So let's see what we got going here. All right, and we're not dealing with side missions or anything like that. I'll put this one into my reserve right now, that second effort, and we got three recruit points that we can use. And we've got, actually, we've got a bunch of cheap cards here. And, oh, boy, this would actually be a really good, that flamethrower would actually be really good. And you're part of a mission, you get two hits, and if it's a snowy terrain mission, you get two, you get, you just gain two additional hits. So that would actually be really useful. Um, these uh, the snowblind cards, I believe, all have like a success value of three. So just having a flamethrower, and they're all snowy terrain. Those snowblind cards are all snowy terrain. Um, having a flamethrower is kind of like almost like an automatic get rid of the uh, get rid of the snowblind cards kind of card. So hey, that might actually be helpful. But I can't do that one right now. I have to deal with. Um, I, ha I only have three recruit points. And I do see the first story mission here, and I'm going to need, you know, stealth and vehicles can help me on it. I don't see stealth or vehicle. I, ooh, I do have, I got Muskrat here. Muskrat says he gets three stealth, so maybe I will, but he doesn't provide me any recruit points. That's kind of, because I do kind of want that flamethrower, and I do know I got some more Joes coming up here. Hmm. Well, maybe instead of saving this one in my reserve, if I'm only going to go with Muskrat, maybe I'll save a Joe so that I do get that extra recruit point that's coming up here. And I will do, I will get Muskrat here. So it goes to the top of my deck. We refill it. These folks get discarded. And we draw back up. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five. And we flip this over. And here we go. And this Joe comes into our hand, which is hey, hey, hey. So now we do get our four recruit points. One, two, three, and four. And Muskrat. Yeah, he, well, he's not going to be part of my mission just yet. But you know what? I could save him. Yeah, I can save him because he because the story mission is going to come into play at the end of this one. So I am going to save him so that I know that he is going to come. And I'm going to use my four recruit points here, and I am going to grab that flamethrower. It's too good not to have. I'll put that down there because I know I'm going to have a snowblind card that I can actually have too. So that is going to be that. I'm going to refill the market. Distraction. And I'm just going to discard my comms because it's not going to be any use to me. There we go. Refill my hand to five cards. One, two. Got to shuffle them up. Shuffle them up. All right. And one, two, three more. Draw pile goes over there. Now, at the end of the round, if we had a story mission in play, we would do it that. Any card effects, any end of round card effects would take into play. Any th the threat meter has to, if we have, if we are in the green, yellow, or red zones, they would activate right now. None of them do. And so the second thing is the threat meter always increases by at least one. And we're down. And now it's at the start of our next turn. The very first thing we check at the start of our turn, do we have a story mission in play? Nope. 
We do now. We have a story mission. We have escort UN scientist team to the Arctic. A team of scientists have been chosen to, ass to assess recent climate change developments. It is up to the Joes to make sure they arrive safely. This has the snowy terrain effect. It's going to have two complication cards and place the explosion token, I guess, three spaces above the threat meter when you reach that explosion token. This mission immediately fails. So I'm going to put this and it goes go one, two, three spaces above. So really, I only got a couple turns to actually try to get it, but I'm thinking that I'm going to get, I'm going to deal with it um, relatively, relatively soon here. So, okay, so that's in the place. And now, oh, yeah, and two complication cards. One, two, and I kind of like, just like to tuck them. I just kind of like to tuck them underneath there. Just to remind me that they're there. All right, let's take a look at what I got here. So I know I have Flamethrower. Oh, right, and then I have Muskrat, right? Muskrat was in my reserve, so he's part of my... Okay, so I can send a Joe on a mission to Flamethrower. Because I do have... Okay, right, so here's the Cold Snap card. Now, I'm not going to bring it... Oh, I can, actually, I can probably just bring the whole stack because I'm not supposed to see what's the mission card under it. So here's the snow blind card. So this is covering up the next, um, and they're all the same. They all look the same except for the very bottom. This one says when you discard snow blind, you can move the threat meter down one. And it, and this one requires three successes, and you can use martial arts. The, the 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 trait that you can use on each of these it tends to differ every now and then. And the reward could actually also be a little bit different. It's either discard, uh, sorry, discard snow blind, move the threat down one. Or discard snow blind and oh, what's the other one? Dang it! I think it's like draw a card or something. It's some it's something along those lines. So I'm gonna keep that right over there. And if I don't get rid of that by the time the next story mission has to come into play, um, I have to suffer a extra. I have to suffer an extra little maybe negative bonus. But okay, so you know what? Here we. I uh, here we go. I am going to. I'm going to send a Joe. I'm going to take my vamp. I'm going to send my Joe here on the mission uh, against Snowblind. Here, so I get the roll. So right now, I automatically get to roll one die. I'm just going to whoop boy. I'm just going to kind of bring my dice out of here. Build my dice pool as I go. I get one die for the GI. And part of this mission is I will play Flamethrower. I'll play three, four. I gain two hits, and I gain two additional hits since it's a snow uh, mission. If this mission is success, you do not receive the threat meter bonus printed on the mission. So and that doesn't matter because it says move it down, and I can't go down any farther. So yeah, so I'm gonna play that. Uh, whoops! Roll my one dice, I guess, and get a success, and I gain two hits, and I gain two additional. So that's, so the snow blind card is gone the flame floor card I'm so beneficial to actually get it out so so early because they're super useful in getting rid of these um okay you can just send a single joe and you kind of just you just gotta get rid of them let's put that up there so now i can see the next story mission and it says i'm going to need some recon can help me out with that okay vamp is going to come back so these two cards have been played and now I can probably even try to attempt this. I can probably try to attempt this because I do got Muskrat here. Muskrat, and he, he, he gives me my stealth that I can use on this. And also right before, I can roll five dice. And every double symbol that I have, I get an extra, I get a guaranteed hit on the mission so kind of making the mission a little bit easier he's kind of really really nice to have perhaps that's why he doesn't provide us any recruit points so let's go on another mission we're going to go against that story mission i'm going to bring the vamp here i'm going to sign muskrat joe i can roll five dice one two three four five I can roll five dice and if i get double hits i get guaranteed hits for this particular mission and i got two that's not actually bad. So I got two guaranteed hits for this particular for this particular mission. 
I'm going to provide another couple GIs. Let me hold on to this card in my hand. It's my reroll. So I get three car three dice for the stealth. And I get an extra two for my two GIs because they provide a wild. So I've already got two guaranteed hits from Muskrat. I'm just looking at two more hits. And I guess before I do that, before I do that, I have to resolve the complication cards. I always forget to run the complication cards. I don't know why. First complication card is threat meter will move up one. Okay, that's probably a good thing that I'm dealing with the story mission right now. And my other complication card is hiss tank attack at the end of your turn, plus one on the threat meter. So, hmm. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoops. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. So rolling five. Need two more because I got two hits from Muskrat. And I just barely got them. I got my two. So mission successful. I can move the threat maker down one and I get to actually draw a card, which is kind of fun, which is another GI. So these guys are done. Vamp goes back to the hangar. These cards have been played. This has going into my success pile. Uh, I guess this token is gone now. And ooh, I got his tank attack. Actually, I could actually and <laughs> what it I could now take my vamp and just send this GI against that. I only get to roll one die, but I just need one success. And I do have a reroll, so why not? And I got it. So I don't actually have to I don't have to actually worry about that particular complication. Work all of that really worked out. That was a really big turn. And I'm gonna save that for another turn here. How many recruit points do I got? One, two, three, four, five. I got six recruit points. Let's go buy them. Let's recruit. Who do we got here? What do we need? Recon. Do I have any recon people? Shipwreck and Polly. And if there's a leader on that mission, they get an extra wild skill. We do have Ripcord here. He provides two wilds. And if he's on a side mission, he can actually go things down. So actually, that's actually a really good one. Kind of provides the same thing as the ship right here. That's three recruit. And for another three, oh, I like distraction. Distraction is always really good because you get to change single results into double results, essentially giving you some extra hits. I'm going to put, put that one in. That one comes onto my top. Okay. Boom. And boom. These folks all get discarded. I'm gonna draw a fresh five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And you know what? I'm actually just gonna sideways here. Say that that's my discard pile. And going on to the next turn, I don't have a story mission in play because it doesn't come in until the uh, beginning of my next of, of my next uh, phase. So kind of get a free. I get a. I kind of get a freebie here. Or is that the way it works here? Yeah. Oh, wait. Start of my... Oh, gosh. Here we go. Oh, gosh. I'm just trying to remember here. So, turn, sequence. I think I actually might... Re I might actually refill the story mission now. Because it's at the start of my turn and there's no story mission in play. That actually might, I, 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 you know what? Let's play it that way tonight. Let's play it that way tonight. I, I can't remember. Do you mind if I actually look at? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to look it up right now. It's, I just get, I sometimes get confused when I play solo. When I do, when I do this solo, because uh, solo end of the round. Uh I am just going to. I'm going to play it that I have to bring in the story mission because I'm pretty sure that's the way I have to do it. So, start of my turn. Next turn, story mission comes into play. And here we go. Now it says, 
Okay, I guess I better read. I better read this for us, huh? Uh, Froissenland, Froissenland. Satellite imagery has detected activity deep in the frozen wastes on the Isle of Froissenland. What cold-blooded scheme has Cobra devised this time? Two complication cards. At the end of each round, draw one complication and add one Cobra Battalion to the lineup. Oof. And we got the Snowblind card here and Tracker. Oh, and this is one that we can see here. It's got a little bit of a different effect. Um, oh, I get the draw. If you successfully on this one, you can draw two cards for that one. So, okay, let's go. Let's go, Joe. Maybe I can do, oh, wait, complication cards. One, two, two complication cards. Stick them underneath. Okay, I got stealth. I got the wild. Ripcord. Hmm. Do I just try? Do I just try this mission? Even without doing the snow blind. Compli oh, well, mm. interesting. Kind of should take care of the snow blind first. The snow blind effects actually are pretty, like the extra little negative thing that happens on you really is uh, quite bothersome. All right, and this second effort is in my hand from my reserve. I do have distractions, so that could actually help me. Unless of my complication card is that I can't use utilities. That would really blah. You know what? One, two, three, you get four dice. Four dice to get three successes, and I can change that. You know what? Why not? And, hey, I can also bring... I have gung-ho. I could bring a towable asset at minus one Joe, and I do have one here. Let's take a look at what Hal does. Ooh. Hal. Heavy artillery laser. You may discard a gear to pay the discard cost of this card. Gain one hit. This so I can gain one guaranteed. I can I can get one guaranteed hit for the mission. Hey, why not then? If I get one guaranteed hit, let's do that. So let's take the vamp. I'll put Gung Ho on this mission. He's going to provide me with one wild dice because it doesn't match the recon specification. Um, but when Gung Ho is on a mission, you may bring a towable asset along for minus one. So that brings this folk on for free. And you may discard a gear to pay for the discard cost, but I'm not paying anything. I gain one additional hit. That's really cool. So again, I, I gain a guaranteed hit. I'll put this GI in this mission as well. He gives me another wild die. And I'll put Ripcord on. He provides me with two wilds. There you go. And I got a distraction. And I also have a reroll. So I think we might be able to get rid of the... Oh, no, wait. I'm going against... Oh, I'm going against the uh, Snowblind. That's what I want to do. I'm going against Snowblind. So one wild die... One wild die, two wild dice, and I get a guaranteed hit. So I just need to get two successes. And I got four. So that's actually pretty good. So this snow blind card is now gone. Discard over there. So now I know what the next story mission is. I don't have to. Think. This one gets now discarded. I just kind of like to discard them to the bottom of the deck, and a new towable asset will come into play. The vamp comes back. These Joes cannot go. And re-rolling a die. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hang on to... Well, wait. I only got three recruits. Well, three recruits should be okay for me for right now, so I'll hold on to distraction. These two will get discarded. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what I can get with my three degree. I got Zap, Lightfoot. They both provide explosions, explosives. I got Charcoal that provides lots of explosives. Hmm. Oh, get out of here, bot. 
I do not like you. Get out of here. Ban. Ban. Uh, where is it here? Report. Report. Unwanted spam. Report. Unwanted spam. Unwanted spam. Get out of here. How do these things find me? I don't know. I need to get a moderator to help me out with these things. They just seem to kind of sneak in every now and then. I don't like it. Uh, no, sir. I don't like it. Okay, what do I need? Marks oh, marksman and explosives can help me out in the next story. So why don't we start recruiting some explosives? <clears throat> Double the effect of the next gear card played. If the mission fails, you may defeat a Cobra Battalion. Or just lots of explosives. Lots of explosives. Lots of explosions. Ha, 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 ha. More explosions. I like that. I like the signs of that. Oh, laser satellite strike. Immediately defeat a side mission or group mission. Difficulty three or lower. Those also take care of um, those snow blind cards really, really effectively. So, hmm. That's fun. That's really a lot of fun. Okay, let's just wait. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's drop one, two, three. Shuffle, shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. <clears throat> shuffle, shuffle. And another. And another two. Perfect. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, just a bunch of Joes. And I got this distraction here, too. Okay, so I, okay, so now we're at the end of the round. So I can activate any story missions in play. It says at the end of each round, draw one complication. Ah, here we go. Dreadnought Chaos. I get to put a Dreadnought into play. So we get to finally see what those lovely, lovely individuals love to do. I should give that stack just a good old get a good old shuffle here they are really nasty they really can get out of hand pretty fast if you don't if you don't deal with them and we got a ripper here immediately draw another dreadnought and put it into play the story mission has plus one difficulty see what i mean xandar Immediately draw one complication. Add plus one difficulty to the story mission for each dreadnought in play, including Xandar. Oh my, see, see what I mean? They just they just kind of compound. Uh, I have to draw another complication card here. Uh, and I have to attach this to the story mission because it says I have to re-roll one hit. Well, see, that was a lot of that was a lot of fun. Alrighty. Okay. Uh card effects. I don't think we have any other our end of round card effects. Nope. Uh threat meter. We are in the green zone, so it goes up one. And then step number two is we get increased in by one. Fun fun in the summertime sun. Let's take a look. Okay, so what do we got going on here? Oh, okay. So let's take a look here. Let's take a look. Let's let's kind of go against some of these dread. These dreadnoughts are very very bothersome. <clears throat> stealth. I don't have any stealth right now. At least they don't have really any other. The only ongoing effects are is that they increase the difficulty of the story mission, which you know that is bothersome that is very bothersome but let's take a look at any i can take care of any one skill i need four successes though but if i choose explosives I mean, this guy provides four explosives that's pretty good so that's actually already four die dice and you know what hey if it's a side mission i can actually if i defeat it i can actually move it down one on the threat meter. I kind of like that too. So, okay, let's try to take out Ripper here. 
We'll go against it, and I'll take my vamp. I'll assign charcoal. That gives us four dice. And I need four successes, so I probably should attach at least a couple more Joes. Should I just go all in on this one, just to take care of just one Dreadnought? So four, five, six. Oh, why not? I guess we'll just roll. We'll roll all but one of our die. Seven dice against that Dreadnought. I'm looking for one, two, three, four. I got my five. I got five successes. So, you sir are discarded. You're out. Bring him back. Okay, I didn't have to use any. I didn't have to use any of these. Oh, I defeated a side mission, so I'll play this card to move my threat meter down one. I should not forget to do that. And. I think I will play this though for its recruit point because, 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 because that'll give me one, two, three, four. That'll give me five for the laser satellite strike, which would be help. It's helpful in getting rid of those pesky little side missions or sorry, those group missions and side missions and whatnot that, you know what, even Xandar. Side missions and group missions. So I can even use a satellite strike against <laughs> the Dreadnought. I actually really like that. So discarded down. Oh, refill that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's back that up here because I don't think I did one thing. Oh, I drew the complication card that put the Dreadnoughts into play. I could not have bought that satellite strike that was in that spot. Do you know why? 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 One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I could not have done that because I should have actually had a Cobra Battalion on top of them. So also add one Cobra Battalion to the lineup and it always goes to the... Oh, wait. Cobra Battalions cover up the highest cost. Oh, five. Well, I guess I have another five there. Ooh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Battalions cover cards in the lineup, preventing players. Uh, da, da, da. When a battalion enters play, always place it on the leftmost uncovered card in the lineup. Unless a card like Major Blood says otherwise, there can never be more than one battalion covering a card. Okay, so it has to go on the leftmost. So that card is actually not in play for us. <clears throat> okay, dokey. So maybe I will save this and only have my four recruit points. And do you know what? Let's add on. You know what? We need some recon. He provides recon and explosives. Provides recon and a wild skill. You know what? Let's just go with a two here. And if we have another two, no, we have those service rifles. I don't like buying the service rifles. So, you know what? Let's just, let's just call that, let's just call that good. All right. Discard. Draw five. One, two, three, four, five. Flip this over. Okay. So now we, okay. Whoa, we got flamethrower here. Gain two hits. And. Okay, okay, okay. Gaining two hits kind of negates the Xandar and the uh, don't tell me the odds complication cards. That kind of, those kind of get taken. So I'm back down just to getting three successes. But he'll always stay in play. This one will at least get discarded after this story mission. I don't know what these complication cards are. Ooh, dear. Well, oh, there's no leader on this mission. Oh, but I do have this distraction. 
you know what let's try let's try going against the story mission yeah let's try it grab my vamp here grab the vamp I am going to ship rock and poly get me two dice there's gonna be no leader on this mission so they don't get an extra wild I will get another dot wild die and another wild die so I'm gonna get four die and I will play if this mission is success you do not receive the threat meter bonus so I'm not gonna be able to push it down too which is okay by me so I'll play this down I'm gonna gain an it a guaranteed two hits against it. I'll just put that there like that. And I can change single die rolls into doubles. I really need, so I get plus one, so one, so four, five. I've already got two, I need three successes. I need three successes here. And, oh, I got him without actually having to use it. So one, two from my flamethrower. And then three, four, five. So three and then plus one, plus one. Perfect. So this is a successful mission. And I don't get the threat meter bonus. So it's not going to go down, but that's okay. It's dealt with. It's a successful mission. And I like that. He's going to stay in... Oh, I forgot about the complication cards. Please don't put one Snow Serpent into play. Story mission is plus one. Oh, I had to re... Oh, I had... Wait, 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 wait. Story mission is I had to re-roll a hit. Oh, so it was actually only just a difficulty of four. One, two, three, four on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, I really, I really smudged this up here because a snow serpent came into play. Oh, and the snow serpent would have came into play. And as attached a snow serpent to a story mission as a complication, and it has two difficulty. No, I would have failed this. The reroll took it down to a four. I actually failed this mission. Failed this mission hard. This was not even going to save me. Oh gosh. So actually, what's the what's the what was the failure? Oh, the failure is raise it up two spots. Ooh boy, that was not great. That was not great. I always forget to reveal the complication cards. I don't know why. I should put just the complication cards on top of the thing. All right. Now, okay, so he's that that's done. These ones are done because of that story mission. He stays in the play. Snow serpents are attached to story missions as a complication. I believe then they also... We'll grab the cold snap things here. I believe they also get discarded. Snow serpents. And he's also discarded when the story mission goes away. All right. Now, that's not terrible because there are story missions that can come up based on the number of successes or failures you have. So right now, they're kind of balanced. Right now, they're kind of balanced. So, okay. Sorry. I really fudged that up a little good, but I think, I think the right outcome occurred. I failed the mission. And this Xandar is still in play for us. Let's take a look at... Okay, wait, one, two, three, four. I got five recruit. Five recruit here. And five recruit is going to get me... <clears throat> I need marksman and explosives for the next story mission. Um, Lightfoot. If the mission fails, you can also defeat Cobra Battalions. That's actually always pretty good. Sure, let's bring you... Let's bring you in, because 
My gosh, did I mess that up bad last time. Boom. Okay, drawing five. One, two, three, four, five. Story mission has been failed, so it doesn't resolve. Card effects, there is no end of round card effects in play. Threat meter says we have to increase by one. And we always increase by one. So we are halfway in our threat meter. Ugh. Ugh is what I'm going to say. All right. Start of our next turn. We're going to bring in a story mission. And this is the end of Act 1 here, where we are going to destroy the Weather Dominator with the world in its icy grip of Destro's insidious device. It is up to the Joes to dismantle this metal monstrosity. I got two. So we got two complication cards going on this. We're going to put Destro into play. If we had not defeated the Snowblind card, we would have had to actually put a Snow Serpent and Cobra Battalion into play. We didn't. And at the end of each round, we're going to put a Snow Serpent into play. Ooh, okay, so we're going to try to get rid of that. And our Snowblind card here, we can use Stealth on that one, and we get to draw two cards when we get to, when we defeat it. Okay, let's go, I guess. Oh, well, we have to put Destro into play. Uh, where are you? Destro. Oh, you are a, all right, you are a nasty one. Destro. We have to we can use explosives in martial arts and we get we have to reroll all double die results against story missions. And at the end of every round we have to draw another complication card. Okay. Oh, I guess we have to refill the lineup. Ooh, killer whale. That's actually kind of nice. Ooh, and it matches the terrain. Okay, ooh, we got Gung Ho. So it means we can bring a Tollable. If this mission fails, all non-active players, Joes on this mission, are returned to their hand. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't really do much, a lot for us. What's this other one? Mountain Hunter. Oh, right. Mountain Howitzer. Plus one wild skill for every Joe on the mission. Plus one wild skill for every utility or gear blade during the mission. Oh, that's actually really, really nice. Okay, but I have to discard. Oh, with Gung Ho, I would have to only discard one Joe from that, which is actually not too bad. So let's go with. Oh, I got a lot of stealth. Well, a lot of stealth will take care of Xandar. He's increasing the comp. He's increasing the difficulty right now. So let's take a look at Zan. Let's take care of Xandar. Oh, and plus we got Muskrat. Yeah, and it's a side mission. I'm going to put Muskrat and Ripcord on a mission against Xandar. Because Muskrat allows me to roll five dice for every double. For every double, I get plus one. I didn't get any doubles, so dang it. But he is going to give me three dice against Xandar. And Ripcord is going to give me two dice against Ripcord. And I do have Distraction in the wing if I do need it. So five dice need three successes against Xandar. And I got them. Where was that roll before? Bang. Okay, Xandar's done. Gain one card of my choice from the lineup at no cost. Oh, man. Well... I am going to then grab the killer whale since it costs five, and that's going to go into my hanger. That's going to go into my hanger. Vamp is also going to come back to my hanger. Those guys are there. All right, can I go against Destro? Destro here. Oh, that was a side mission. Ripcord says I can go down one. Perfect. Destro has explosives and martial arts. So I can get three for explosives. Four. 
if I'm looking at the mountain howitzer, I can discard a Joe here and give him another wild skill, two, two more wild skills. Ooh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take on Destro here. I'm going to take the Vamp. Yeah, I'm going to take on. I'm going to take the Vamp. I'm going to put uh, Lightfoot here. Gets me three dice. If the mission fails, I do get to get rid of that Cobra Battalion, which would be fun because then I would actually be able to get that laser uh, thingamajigger. I will. Should have I? I think I should replace this. Oh, two wilds. Sniper rifle. You beauty. Um, okay, got my three explosives. I'm going to put Gung Ho here. He's going to provide me a wild die, but I'm also going to discard this Joe to bring in this mountain howitzer. I get plus one wild skill for each Joe that's on this mission, so I need so I get two more die. And I'll get another wild skill for utility or gear play during the mission, so I do have this distraction, so I can get another die if I play this distraction. And I'm just looking, I'm looking for five successes. So let's roll these six dice. All right, so I got one, two, three. I'll play distraction to turn this one to a double. Gives me four, but since I'm playing a utility, because I have the Mountain Howitzer, I get another wild skill for this mission. So I do get another die. I need this to be a success. Need this to be uh, need this to be a success. Oh, there we go. And it is. So Destro has been defeated. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. And this gets discarded. Another one comes up. Plus two wild skills. That is just fantastic. And I have one, two, three. I got four recruit points to use. Hmm, four recruit points to use. I really wish I had five. That would actually have been nice. Let's go with... Oh, let's take a look at it. Let's take Zap. Yeah, I'm going to take Zap here. And you folks get discarded. Draw fresh five. I only have three, so let's do, 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 do. I feel like I keep forgetting. I think I should have those regular Joes. I should have just kind of, I guess I think I should start thinning them out. Oh, gosh. Cards went everywhere. Oh, dear. Where did they, oh gosh, where did they go? One second. Ugh. One. Oh. Only one card. Okay. All right. I can live with that. Been shuffling them, I guess. I don't even know how that happened. Uh, two. There we go. And I got. I guess I should refill and flip this over. Alrighty. Oh, flamethrower. Now we're talking because we can use that flamethrower. I forgot to put my two complication cards on this guy. Didn't even realize that. All right. Well, I have to send at least one Joe to take care of the Snowblind. I'm not actually going to take care of this mission right now. So let's just put you on here. I'm going to send a Joe to take care of the Snowblind. And yeah, I am just going to roll one die. And I'm going to play Flamethrower. 
that gets me two hits and an additional two hits if it's a snow mission, which it is. So, boom, four hits. Snowblind is taken care of. That flamethrower is really, really handy. Just got Snowblind. I get to draw an additional two cards. One, two. Perfect. Because I think now I am ready. I am going to go. Oh, I got Gung Ho. And I can bring a towable asset. And there's one that's sitting right here that has, gives us two wild skills. I really do like that. Okay, well, I guess we're going to try taking on the weather machine then. Marksman and explosives, and I can use that. Oh, I can use my killer whale. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's bring the killer whale, because it provides me with two marksmen, which this already gives me. So two marksmen. Each player on this mission may reveal the top card of their deck and add it to this mission if able. That's actually pretty cool matches the bonus i'm gonna bring in gung-ho that's gonna provide me an extra while but i can bring a towable asset in for minus one which i will bring in the flak the field light attack cannon it's gonna give us an extra two wild skills two wild skills i am going to bring in zap going to give us three explosives perfect and i can bring in another joe if i want which may as well since this is the it's it's the go big or go home here another die but i am all out of dice so i'm gonna have to I get one two three four oh yeah that's all eight of my dice so i'm gonna have, i'm gonna bring in I get to roll one additional die here. So here's eight. I do get to roll nine. But I'm looking for four successes. And I've got four successes already without having to do that. Oh, I forgot to reveal my complications. Discard one Joe from this mission. Oh, boy. Okay, so we're, we're going to re we're gonna have to redo this. Just because of these. Discard one Joe from this mission, so I guess this random GI is going to get discarded. And this other complication is I got to put a Snow Serpent into play. These guys are just particularly nasty because they increase the difficulty of the mission now to six. So let's make sure I got all the correct dice here. Because I have two marksmen from Killer Whale. I have one from Gung Ho. He brought the towable asset that gives me two wild skills. Zap is explosives. That's that. So that's, that's eight dice. I guess I forgot the Killer Whale thing here too. Uh, each player on may reveal the top card of their deck and add it to this mission. And it's actually Lightfoot. He can actually go. I can actually put that. In, I can put him in. So I would have actually had the GI, him, him. Story mission says I could have to discard a guy, so I would discard a Joe. He's going to provide me three more dice, so I get to actually roll three additional dice on top of these eight. Looking for six successes. Wow. One. Wow. I rolled 11 dice and got two successes. And I can re-roll a die. <laughs> May as well. Hey. And then I can change all single results to doubles. Which would give us two. Hey, that that good that gets us to the six. Holy crap! That reroll and a second effort and distraction gave us the four, five, six needed to get. Oh my goodness gracious! That was 
That is something. This is a success, minus one. And target player draws two cards. This is discarded. It's just another GI in my comms. I guess I'll save comms just in case, but I'll play down the GI. Killer Whale gets discarded. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, for six, I'm going to promote Gung Ho. He's going to go on top of my deck here. And Gung Ho is going to get upgraded. And I still got two left over, which gets me nothing in the market. I just figure I should just get. I should get him upgraded as soon as possible here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, another towable asset needs to come in. Okay, story mission card, none. Card effects in play, none. Threat meter goes up by one and then goes up by one. Start of the turn. We are now into Act 2. Okay, and so now Act 2 is starting, so I have to shuffle in my oh, Act 2 complication cards. Come into play. Hi, Brian. Thank you for jumping on in. Such a fun game. Thanks for streaming it. More people need to give this game a try. I absolutely 100% agree. It is just so much fun. It stay, now, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but my games, even though if I'm not talking through my turns, which I'm talking through my turns tonight, and I'm talking out loud and thinking blah, blah, blah. This game seems to take a little bit. Now I am pull I am playing the full like the full game experience. Like there's two act cards then the main act card. So there's I got the nine mission cards that are part of my deck here. So uh does that game take a long does it seem like the game takes a long time like it doesn't or am I just a slow player? Like I that <laughs> just, I I don't I don't know I don't know exactly what it is but I feel like my I have fun like the games don't seem to take as long but when I check the clock after I'm like whoo I've been out here for a while now All right new act coming into coming into play here like selling refrigerators in the arctic with blizzard conditions rocking the globe, the Joes need a way to cut through the static. This mission has plus one difficulty for each player in the game. Nice! Solo! So a plus one difficulty. Place the explosion token here, two spaces above the threat marker. When you reach that marker, this mission immediately fails. Okay, uh, where is it? So it says two spaces above. Okay, right there. All right, and we need three success. It has one complication card on it. We can use tanks, tank terrain. All righty. Actually, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put like, ah, there we go. Maybe that'll help me out. I always forget to put the... I always forget to put the complication cards, or sorry, reveal the complication cards. Alrighty, let's take a look at what we got going on for our turn here. Tracker and Marksman can help us out with that story mission. Nope, and nope, and Marksman is my Snowblind cards. I can blue Snowblind. Hmm. Nope, no Marksman. Okay, so we are off to a great start here. Oh, I can bring towable missions, towable assets now on for two less. So I can pretty much just bring in towable assets at will. May discard utility card. Uh, once during this mission, you may reroll any number of dice. If this mission fails, all non-active players. Go, okay. So though none of them are none of the total assets are providing us extra dice. So really I could just I could take it on with four. Well, I guess this is in my hand too. Da, 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 da. It's not a really great card. Hmm. Kinda need my marksman cards now. 
And I haven't come across any tracker cards. Interesting. Well, let's just go with this then. Let's just go with... Well, let's just try against the Snowblind. Take the Vamp. I'll take the Vamp here. I will... I'll take Gung Ho with me. He provides me one wild dice since it doesn't match the thing right here. But I'm going to bring a total asset. I'm going to bring in this one. It allows me to re-roll. Once during this mission, I can re-roll any number of the dice. I think that'll be handy. I will bring Shipwreck and Polly. They get me one wild because they don't match. But I also get an extra wild because there's a leader on this mission. And I'll bring two GIs. So that's five dice. I need three successes to get this. And I can reroll any number of my dice. Whoops. And I got four successes. Perfect. Love it. So this Snowblind card is down. I can move the threat meter mark down one. So that helps me out. And I'm just going to play down this doorway. Let's, let's, let's take a look at what we, what we can. Let's take a look at what we... Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Cards are going everywhere. It's my small little table that I play on here. Uh, this is supposed to get discarded. This one comes out. My gosh, cards are just flying everywhere. One, two, three, four. I got five recruit, which is enough to buy anything on there. So I'm going to keep this GI for the next round. Just be, just because, just because. Or do I want to just keep one or do I? Okay, five. What do I need? Tracker, marksman, vehicles, and tech are coming up um, to. Okay, so. There, or sniper rifle is just two wilds. That's actually pretty fun, too. But since tech will eventually make their way, and vehicles are eventually going to make their way, too, here. So let's go with. There's a leader on this mission, draw one card. So we got lift ticket. We've got mainframe. Mainframe looks pretty good. Let's do mainframe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring that in. Ooh, the APC. That sounds fun. Really good in multiplayer games. Really, really good in multiplayer games. Really good in multiplayer games. You can just load that baby up and send tons of Joes onto missions. All right, that was the end of that turn. We're going to have some nasty things happen to us at the end of this one. Um, all right. Let's see what we got here. So we got our tech. Wild, explosives. Nope, we didn't get tracker, marksman. We're going to need four. We need four successes. Though muskrat does allow us to try to get an opportunity to get some extra hits at the very beginning. And he does provide us some wilds. Oh, you know what? Let just try it, I guess. And I guess I do have this GI here. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save mainframe. I'm gonna try doing a mission. I'm gonna try doing a mission against the main mission here. Hmm. Because the failure actually isn't that bad. Just discard two cards from your hand. That's actually not bad if I like empty out my hand here. Pretty much. Okay. Let's send Muskrat. Because he gets to roll five dice right now. Every double gets me us a guaranteed hit. So we get one guaranteed hit against this mission. So we have one guaranteed success on this mission because of Muskrat. Um, he's going to provide one wild die. Ripcord's going to provide two wild die. 
And these two GIs here are going to provide two more wild die. So I already have one success. I just need three more successes. I need three more successes. I guess I haven't actually declared, declared who I'm going to put down yet. I just need three more successes. One didn't reach me. There we go. And I got it. Complication card would have been put one snow serpent into play. So we increased it by two. So this would have been three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We had just enough. This is a success. Move it down one. Remove the next two snowblind cards from the deck. Oh. Oh. So I don't have to deal with snowblinds anymore. Or at least for the next little bit. Oh. That is quite handy. So put this in the success pile. And the next two snowblinds come out. That's pretty handy. I like that. I haven't seen that one yet. This was attached to it, so it goes away. And I still got these two cards. And you know what? I'm going to save the tech. I'm going to bring him up. One, two, three, four recruit points. Four recruit points. Maybe I should keep them on four, five, six recruit points to get that, at least that sniper rifle. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to spend them on and get him. And then, you know what? Part of successful missions, I'm going to actually discard these GIs or get rid of them out of the game. Because I have not been doing that. I have not been doing that. All right, so these guys go away, discarded, back to here. He is in my reserve. One, two, shuffle it up, shuffle it up. Here we go, one more time, around the sun. All right, one, two, three, four, five, perfect down uh whoops i've been doing my draw cards over here okay story mission there's no story mission in effect card effects there's no card effects in play threat meter we have to bump it up by one and we always bump it up by one we've been kind of keeping it down we've been keeping it at bay start of my turn next to story mission no snow blind card perfect Let's see what we got going on here. We got scrambled signals. The destruction of the weather dominator scattered its expensive components across the globe. It's a race to pick up the pieces before Cobra can reassemble the devices. Ooh, three, three complication cards on this one. And then we got to place that token again, two spaces above. All right, here we go. Oh, we can remove more snow blind cards. Two, three. Three complication cards is a lot to deal with. Three complication cards is a lot to deal with. Okay, so let's go here. What do we got? We don't have to deal with snow So if we can get we can get we can just actually do this right now. Boom. And I've got tech and vehicles right now. And I got my distraction. And I've got, ooh, ooh, this is actually really, this is looking really, really nice for us. I know I haven't done that color of a battalion yet, but do you know what? If I have the opportunity, let's try, because I'm going to have a lot of dice here. Whoops, I forgot to put this two, to two spots ahead. Okay, I, I have a chance. I'm going to take the chance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take that chance every single time. Let's go. Bring in the vamp. Mainframe's coming along for the ride. Here we get four dice for mainframe because he has tech. And I can use vehicles. 
He provides me with three more dice because he's vehicles. If there's a leader on this mission, draw a card. There's going to be no leader on this mission. I guess before I did all of those, I'm going to put Muskrat onto this mission. It says roll five dice. For each double, I get an automatic success. One double. So I get an automatic one success. And I'm going to put this GI on here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a wild for him, and another wild for this GI. So that's going to be nine dice, and I have one guaranteed success. I have one guaranteed success. I'm just going to just put this uh, token right here. I'm just going to say here, I got a one guaranteed success on this one. Let's take a look at it. I'm going to do this right this time. First time tonight, probably. Let's take a look at the complication cards. Okay, search and rescue. Um, at the end of your next turn, fail the current story mission and discard this card. Oh, boy. Raise the threat meter by one. And we have to discard one Joe from this mission. So obviously it's probably going to be this guy. So he gets discarded. All right, so that's everything that's happened. So we still have, we need four successes. We have one guaranteed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got, we're got. we rolling eight dice, and we need three successes. We got eight, we got eight dice, and we need three successes. Here we go. One, two, three, and the one from Muskrat's roll, that's four. We just squish. Once again, we just squeaked it out. Just squeaked it out here. I'm going to save you. This is going to go right there. So let's take a look here. Um, success. We get to move this down one spot. We get to remove the next Snowblind card from the deck again. That's pretty handy. So you're going to go in the success pile. Find the next Snowblind card, which is right there. Wow, there's only one Snowblind card left in the deck. We do have you in play, which is going to be, you know, fun to deal with. Uh, Vamp comes back here. All right, and I've got three recruit points. Not really going to do a lot unless if I keep unless if I discard this distraction to give me four recruit points. You know what? I'm just not going to recruit anything this time around. Yeah, let's just not recruit anything this time around. Which is okay to do every now and then. It's okay to do that. One, two, three, four, five. All right, next turn. I'm going to bring in the story mission. And we got the end of, we got the finale of Act 2. Oh, excuse me. We've got Battle on the Roof of the World. Retrieve the unlimited power of the laser core before Cobra can get it charged up and operational. So we're going to get two, co we're going to get two complication cards on this. Shuffle the Cobra officers and put one at random into play. Um, if there's a Snowblind card, we had to put two in play. And at the end of every round, draw one complication. All right. So we have to shuffle the, the officers. Now well, these guys can be pretty nasty too. And we're going to put one of them into play. And we're going to have to also take care of this search and rescue because we have to fail the current story mission at the end of this round. And, um, yeah, and it says when it fails, we've got to increase this by four. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. Okay, and our officer is going to be, oh, gosh, the worst, one of the worst ones, Dr. Mindbender. At the start of a group mission, discard the top card of the main deck. If it's Joe, plus two difficulty. 
I don't like that one. I don't like that one at all. Yeah, no, I don't like that one at all. Okay, here we go. Oh, I've got my oh, I got my flamethrower. Gain two successes. That's pretty good. That could just guaranteed get rid of that one. Do I have any ten? No, I got oh, I got explosives up the wazoo. That's good for the next story mission. Not really for the current one. This is gonna give me four hits on the main story mission. That's insane. Because it's a snow mission too, so that, that would that's insane. Oh my gosh, I kind of want to keep that around, but I want to get rid of, I got to get rid of Dr. Mindbender. But if Dr. Mindbender is in play, plus two difficulty, if, if it's plus two difficulty, that would only bring this, I get four guaranteed hits with the flamethrower. So that would only be a three. Oh, but I don't have any Joes that really specify that I can actually get. Can I get? Can I get three? Oh, I do have my distraction. That was in my reserve. Could I get three successes on just four dice? Ooh, that's the question. Or do we play it differently? That I reserve the flamethrower for the next round. And I go ahead and I try. Oh my gosh, double the effect of the next gear played this turn. If I played the, I would double this effect. Or that that be four? Would that be eight hits? Would that, that double the effect? Double the effect of the next gear played this turn. So if I played the. Holy Toledo. I think we... Okay, I guess we can try that. We can take care of that story mission. We can try taking care of that story mission. Man, oh man. That sounds like too good to be true. That sounds too good to be true. Way too good to be true. I'm going to play it that way, though. Next turn, fail the current story mission and discard this card. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go against the story mission, then. Taking the vamp. I'm taking... Okay, let's build this up here, though. I'm taking zap. Which gets me one dice. I'm going to take Charboil, gets me a dice. Got two GIs, they give me two dice. But I'm keeping this in my hand because, man, because I could double, I, I can double the effect of this card. Next gear card. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm going to try. So I'm going to take on this story mission. I got my four Joes. I got my four Joes here. Let's reveal the three complications, the, sorry, two complications that are on it. Uh. Story mission is plus one difficulty. Put crystal ball into play. Well, he's one of these Cobra officers. During your recruit phase, after buy, either buying the leftmost uncovered card or plus one. Oh my gosh, okay. That's right. You are particularly nasty. All right, and I had to discard the car top card of the deck, which it's a Joe. Discard this Joe here. So that's another plus two. So it's a five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's an eight difficult mission. 
I roll my four dice. And I play Flamethrower. And its effects get double. So that's two, four, six, eight. Nine successes against the eight successes that this currently has. So it's a success. Uh, if the mission is a success, you do not receive the threat meter bonus. That's okay. It's not going to go down two, but I am going to get to draw two cards. Uh, second effort. Oh, my killer whale finally comes back around. Perfect. I'm going to discard these two GIs out of the game. Those two GIs are going to go out of the game. But first, they're going to give me two recruit. So one, two, four, five, six. And I have to either buy this. Oh, my gosh. Or I have to increase the thermometer. So I will play this one down, I guess, for one. That's seven. So I'm going to grab the APC. Or else, because of Crystal Ball here, I would have to increase the threat meter by one. I don't want to do that. Perfect. Draw a fresh five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this was a success, so I guess I should have taken it out. Uh, success pile. This gets discarded. These will stay in play. I got my fresh five. All right, so story mission does not take an effect. Card effects. Nothing at the end of your turn. Fail the current story mission. There is no story mission. And discard this card. So it gets discarded. And crystal ball stays into play. Threat meter. A Cobra Battalion is going to come in. And increase by one. All righty. Huh. Here we go. Let's keep the good times. Let's keep the good times rolling. Oh, nice. Got my gung ho. Keep forgetting about my assets that I could have maybe brought in, but it's the start of my turn. So let's bring in. Oh, it it is Act. Oh, it is Act Three. We're gonna take all our complication cards and add in the Act Three complication cards. We've got three missions left. Am I going to do it? I'm sitting okay. Cobra Battalion's starting to creep onto the board. Starting to creep onto the board. But uh, that laser can has been, laser satellite's been kind of sitting around there. It could be, could have been particularly useful. That flamethrower's been amazing for us tonight. My goodness gracious, I love it. Been loving it. As long as I played that one correctly. Flamethrower... Double effect. I'm going to look that one up. Giving us eight hits. Oh, it seems too good to be true. Okay, let's take a look. Start of Act 3 here. Breach the Cobra line. The next piece of the destroyed weather dominator is near, but the Cobra, but cobra is one step ahead. A fleet of Cobra uh, Marais... And ice vipers lie in wait to guard this tropical paradise. Roll two dice. For each hit, add one Cobra Battalion to the leftmost card in the lineup. Ooh. Okay. Okay, okay. So we're going to roll two dice here. No hits. Perfect. That was the best possible thing that could have possibly happened for us. Uh, da, 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 da. If there was snow blind, we would have had to roll three dice. Perfect. Okay, so explosives and vehicles help us deal with that. Crystal ball is being a pain in our side, and so is Dr. Mindbender. Let's try to take care of those gentlemen. Oh, right, and there's a complication card on this card as well. Okay, well, I got stealth and martial arts, and I've got explosives. And that's about it. But Gung Ho can bring in 
some things. So let's go against Dr. Mindbender here. I kind of like the idea of going against Dr. Mindbender. And take the vamp here. Um, he's tech. So that is not the most ideal. But I can bring in Gung Ho. And I can bring a total asset along for minus two. So this one's going to come in along for free. It gives us the plus two wild skills. So first off, one for Gung Ho. Two wild skills for the laser artillery weapon. Um, the active player may put a basic basic gear or utility card from their discard pile back into their hand. And do you know what I should take? I should probably take flamethrower. Yeah, I should probably take flamethrower. That would be really good to have for a future reference. Thank you to that one. So plus two wild skills on that one. Um, and I'm going to just add on... We're taking, we're got, we got to get four. Let's take... Let's take another two Joes here because I want to maybe keep this guy around for. Yeah, I'm going to keep this guy around for. So I'm rolling one, two, three, four, five dice, trying to get four successes. I do have a reroll, so let's try it out. One, two, three. Reroll. Perfect. Dr. Mindbender, you can go back to the pile here. I did not like you in the first place. All right, so those folks are done. This one is bang done. And looks like I have to shuffle up my discard pile here of... I'm actually just gonna check that out. I, I wonder if they're, if they're all, if they've all been used, they've all been used. Um, I've never went through the whole deck of towable assets. Um, do, 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 uh, if you ever need to place a new card, but the total asset deck is empty, reshuffle the discard pile. Perfect. So they do come back. Awesome. And vamp comes back. These Joes have been used. All right. So do I try to go after Crystal Ball here? I can gain two guaranteed hits with using Flamethrower. Uh, I think I'm go. I think I'm good. I'm gonna keep Flamethrower. Oh wait, mm, it's not a, a two successes is two successes, but I get to roll three dice with it. You know, I'm saving him. Yeah. Or do I keep Flamethrower? No, I'm going to keep Flamethrower for the next round. I'll just play him down. Discard this. One, two, three, four, five. I have to purchase this one or else I have to increase the market. So Tranquilizer is actually pretty good. It's actually not a terrible card here. It flips down officers face down. For us, one, two, three. All right, and we draw a fresh five. Here we go, and here we go, and here we go, and one, two, three, four, five. Good to go. Coming on in. Oh, gotta flip this over. Okay, so until the end of your turn. Well, that would mean that I would not have to purchase the leftmost one, which would be interesting. But do you know what? I think we are okay. Oh, wait, tech. Oh, crystal ball is tech. But i am also got some explosives and some wilds. And I've got my flamethrower. Hmm. Should I try to get the six? Yeah, you know what? Let's try it because I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dice plus 
The flamethrower, which is a guaranteed two. Well, um, fail plus one, put Baroness into play. Ooh, that doesn't sound very fun. No, let's do it. Let's try it. We're going to go on. Oh, we don't actually have. Well, we get plus two marksmen. Each player on this mission may reveal top card of their deck and add it to this mission if able. Hey, that might work. Does that work for us? Add it to the mission if able. Mm. So that would have to be like a gear card or something. So, oh, wait. oh no! But marksmen, we don't need marksmen. We need explosives and vehicles. We need explosives and vehicles. So let's just go. Let's just take the vamp. All right, so explosives gets one, two, three dice. Even if this mission fails, we can defeat a Cobra Battalion in the lineup. I like that. Uh, another two wilds. Another three for that one. And you know what? Take a look at that. And I will... You know, I'm just going to hold on to that right now. Flamethrower is in our hand. Okay. Complication card. Has extra one difficulty. Dang it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so it's a seven difficulty. We're rolling seven dice. We can get... An, we got two automatic successes with... Or two, two guaranteed hits with Flamethrower. So... Seven minus two, five. We got seven dice trying to get five successes. Let's come on. Come on, dice gods. Please be with us. Five. I need five successes. Oh my gosh. Five. And then plus my flamethrower. Gain two hits. Six, seven. This is a success. Let's go. Let's go. Success here. Minus one. Oh, no, wait. Flamethrower, though. If this mission is success, you do not get the threat meter bonus. But I can defeat two Cobra Battalions in the lineup. So def gone and gone. Put you in the success pile. Whoops, missed it. There we go. Success pile. And... Tranquilizer Dart can come into play. I oh. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Junior recruit phase. Either buy the left. I am going to buy the leftmost, just in case, because it's that laser satellite. Just in case something nasty comes up. And let's do this. Okay, discard them. I'll keep Tranquilizer Dart for the next turn. You go down this way. These are discarded. Let's bring in five. This was discarded. Two, three, four, five. And here we go. Story mission. Nothing. We defeated it. Card effects. No card effects to play. Threat meter. We put a Cobra Battalion down. And we increase this meter by one. Okay, start of our turn. Act three, part two. Palace of Doom. Retrieve the electromagnet electromagnetic capabilities of the ion core leader to prevent the weather doom dominator from reaching every corner of the globe. Put Crystal Ball into play. Well, he's already into play. At the end of each player's turn, put one snow serpent into play oh yikes and there's one complication card on this okay at the end of each player's turn put one oh gosh those snow serpents are such a bothersome bunch a bothersome bunch and i have a snow blind card here haven't seen one of those in a while because uh, of those other card effects Okay, let's see what we got going on here. Marksman Recon. I don't know if I had done Marksman and Recons. 
Ah, and this immediately defeat a side mission or group mission. Difficulty three or lower. And that's not actually going to actually. So actually getting that laser satellite. Oh, but that's the snow blind. I can defeat that snow blind like right now. Let's do it. Boom. Immediately defeat a side mission or group mission, which this is a group mission. All right. Immediately defeat it. I get to draw two cards. One, two. And again, I do not have marksman or recon or tech. I got lots of expl. I built for lots of explosives for some odd reason. That's weird. That's weird. But hey, look, the last mission here needs explosives. I'm going to be set for that. I should be set for that. All right, but what should I try to do? What should I try to do? What I should try to do is... What I should try to do is just take out Crystal Ball here because he's kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Really, really annoying. Let's go with... Oh, look at there. Muskrat. I drew my... Okay, Crystal Ball. You're going to get spoiled by Muskrat here. Let's take the Vamp. Let's take the Vamp. Muskrat's going to go on this mission. Let's roll five dice. Doubles get miss automatic successes. No doubles. Dang it. So Muskrat gets us one. Uh... Zap gets us one. Do you know what? These two GIs right here give us one each. We're trying to get four successes. I do have my distraction here. Let's just try it. Going against Crystal Ball. Oh, look at that. And I can use distraction to change that single into a double, and that is a success. You are done, sir. Well, that was actually the best possible result that we could possibly ever have. I'm going to take my... I'm going to save Charbroil. I don't know why, but I just am. And I'm going to bring you down for some recruit points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am going to get Frostbite, though. Frostbite. Because he's got Recon. So that's one, two. Reroll up to one die for each Joe on this mission. One, you know what? That sounds like a good plan. Let's just do those. These are all done. Fresh five. Three, four, five. The end is nigh. I can feel it. I can feel it. Those are not very handy. Vehicles and recon. I need marksmen and recon. But I got Charbroil here. I got Char, good old Charbroil, which he's explosives. Let's go with. Let's just try. Let's just actually just try this mission here. It's an airplane, so I don't have to... Let's just go on a vamp. Let's go with... Okay, so he gets me three dice. It's not a snow mission, so we don't get plus two wilds. We're going to put... Da -da -da, you, another dice. And you, another dice. Five dice, trying to get four successes. I do have some reroll options. Four success. Oh, wait. Complication card first. Story mission. You cannot use utility cards to affect this mission. I guess it says utility, not starter or gear. So I guess we're okay. 
So five dice. We have two successes. Reroll up to one die for each Joe on this mission. There's three Joes, so I get to reroll three dice. There we go. Four successes. You're good. Minus two. Boom, boom. Target player draws two cards into their hand. You go in the success pile. This game's been rolling for me. Rolling. You're gone. Okay, these are all lovely. I don't really need many of them. And what is this? We got Gung Ho. We got Gung Ho here. Which I don't think I need him for the next mission. So I'll just play him down for some recruit points. And let's go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you know what? I am just going to recruit this old tunnel rat into this just because I like it. All right. Those are all discarded. I'm just going to discard. You know what? I'll just keep the reroll. Seems to be okay. Vamp coming back. We're drawing a fresh five. One, two. All right, well, since we're getting down to the nitty-gritty here, I'm just going to remind everybody that you can like this video. You can hit the subscribe button. And I'm going live every Tuesday and Thursday nights if you want to watch what I've been playing. So hit the notification bell so you get notified when those are happening. All right, one, two, three, four, five... There is no story mission in effect. There are no cards to take into effect. The threat meter puts a Cobra Battalion on the Skyhawk. We increase the threat meter by one. And we are at the start of our next turn. And the finale. And the finale is here. Arctic Blast. All that's left now is the final showdown deep within Cobra's secret base. Put Cobra Commander and three Snow Serpents into play. Five Snow Serpents if we had a Snow Blind. At the end of each player's turn, raise up the threat meter by one. If we succeed, we win. All right, so Cobra Commander. Where are you, Cobra Commander? I forget what you do. It's been a while since you've came into my own of my plays. All right, at the end of each round, discard all uncovered main deck cards. The story mission has plus three difficulty. And what is this? Three snow serpents? Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's why the difficulty is high. That's why it's, oh, what? Three? That's pretty good. So we got one, two, three of them. That's an extra six difficulty. These get attached to the story mission. So what do we got here? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got a success level of twelve right now. But we can whittle down these snow ser we can be able to whittle down these snow serpents. But hopefully it doesn't take us too long because we have to increase the uh the threat meter at the end of each player's turn. Oh my gosh. So let's take a look here. Get out of here, bots. What are you doing? Get out of here. Report. How do you keep how do you keep getting in here? I don't understand. Whoops, not you. You. I don't understand this. How do you get in here? I they just must have just a way to get around my back end piece because I shouldn't actually have these. So let's get out of here. Get out of here. What the heck? Report. Report. What the heck, YouTube? What the heck? I don't get this. How do you guys keep coming in here? Report. Man, I don't understand this. Report. Man, 
Get out of here. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, explosives, recon, tech. All right, let's just whittle down. Let's whittle down the snow serpents because I think we're going to end up having a lot of explosives coming up in our deck here. So let's take a look at these snow serpents. They're side missions. Oh, good. I still have diffuse here too. So let's take a look here. Let's do this. I'm going to take the vamp. Take the vamp. Uh, we are going to take mainframe here. We're going to roll four dice against one of these snow serpents. Because I just need two successes. Got it. So snow serpent the first is done. And I am going to play down my diffuse, which decreases this down by one. Thank goodness. So you're gone. You come here. Oh my gosh. And you're still, they're still, these, these bots are still just coming on in. My gosh. Remove. Remove. Report, report, report. Remove. What are, what, how do you, why are these coming in? How? This is just, I'm going to have to get on, get on with YouTube here at some point. Okay, let's put, let's send the old, let's send old tunnel rat here. Let's send old Tunnel Rat against another Snow Serpent. Let's go. He is going to get three dice for explosives. And I'll send a GI as a wild. So we're rolling four dice against another Snow Serpent. And we got three. So that takes down one. Perfect. So those folks are all been used. I still got one GI. I still got one GI here. You know what? You may as well try it. Roll one dice. If I get the double success, that is absolutely perfect. If I don't, not the end of the world. Only got a single success, so he'll stay into play. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, look at this. Actually, I see this right now. I'm going to put, I'm going to draft this one, which just says defeat one snow serpent. Put you on top. That's all I want. That's all I'm going to actually draft because I don't really need a whole heck of a lot of others. So these ones get discarded. I am just going to. Oh, I had my second effort. Nah, I'm done. I'm just going to keep that around. Two, three, four, five. All right. Okay, at the end of each player's turn, I should increase this threat level by one. Uh huh. And not at the end of the round, though. At the end of this, that's when that's going to happen. All right. Let's take a look what's going on here. So we've got tactical skis, which I will play. It says defeat one snow serpent, which is right here. Love it. So now Arctic Blast has only got a plus three, so it's only got a six. I forgot to put a complication. It's only got a six difficulty, so hopefully I got get some explosives coming in here. Oh wait. And I got flamethrower. And I've got charbroil. Here we go. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. It's not it's not it's not going to be pretty. But here we go. I got four dice for Charbroil cuz he's got four for explosives. We do've got Muskrat. Muskrat allows me to roll five dice right off the get-go. No doubles. Dang it. So that's, but that's five dice I'm going to get to roll. Plus, 
Look at this. I've got Flamethrower. I'm going to get two hits, and since it's a snow-leveled mission, I'm going to gain two additional hits. So this is four hits, and it's against a six difficulty. i am got five dice, need two, and I'm going to get the reroll up to some dice. Let's go. Here we go. Attempting the mission. Got my Joes. Complication. Please not be anything really, really ridiculous, please. If this mission fails, double the threat meter modifier. That's okay. It's not going to... It's not going to uh, fail. So I've got my five dice. Just need two successes, please. I just need two successes, please. I just need two successes, please. I do have my second effort in reserve. Whoops. One, two, three, four. And a flamethrower. And you know what? Just for good measure, I'm going to reroll up to two. There we go. Don't need to do some second effort. Boom! Explosives take out that Arctic Blast. Cobra Commander, doesn't even matter that you were there. You are done. It is a successful, successful cold snap mission here. Woo! That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I do really enjoy what the cold snap color, what snow blind cards add. Just that little extra thing that you have to deal with. If you don't want to suffer those extra penalties. Ooh, that was a good that was a good round. I do like these towable assets every now and then. I didn't use them completely. I only use them when I can see you can use them more often in maybe a higher player count. I really only just used them whenever um Oh, where is he? When when did he come into play here? Did I where, did I discard him by accident here? Oh no, no when Gung Ho comes out, whenever Gung Ho came out, I used him because I could pretty much get them for free all game. So, yeah. Laser satellite strike. Didn't actually get to use you. I rescued you, but I didn't get to use you. And Oh, what what's the what was the MVP card of the game? MVP card of the game, Flamethrower. Oh my gosh, were you awesome during this uh, campaign mission set, especially against all of those snow level missions where you could get those extra two additional hits? My gosh, four hits. Every single... There's only a four cost. This... I, I Man. Man... This card is so cheap for what you get in this in this game. And especially if it comes out early. Like for me, it was in my initial setup. If this card comes out early, holy smokes, you're rolling. Now I do have to double check to make sure I play the... Uh, I have to double check to make sure I played a certain combo correctly. Where was it? He was the gentleman that let me double the... Gear played this turn, yeah. So does Zap essentially make the flamethrower a eight hit? Whoops. It's an eight hit against my like is that is that just a thing? Double the effect of the next gear card gear played. If I play the flamethrower, I double the two hits and I double the two additional hits. Eight? Like, that saved my butt, that mission. That saved my butt big time. I'm going to have to check. Maybe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess it. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to actually take a picture of these. I'm going to tweet um, TC Petty, the third, and Renegade Games Studios if I played that correctly. Because, man, if I did, great. That's a broken combo. This card is too cheap. This should be a five-cost card. At minimum. This should have been a five cost card. It is so good. I guess the trade off is that if the mission is a success. Which they were. I was not. I, I didn't get the threat meter bonuses. I didn't get the threat meter bonuses. So I guess that's the trade off. For it. I still think it's too good. I think this guard is way too OP in this game. Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. We didn't get to see the Dreadnoughts too much in this game. Uh, there was the one complication card that did bring in the Dreadnoughts, and they are pretty now. They, 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 they increase difficulties and kind of do a hindrance. The other mission that's in the Cold Snap game, um, Dreadnoughts come into play every story mission card that comes out. So they, they, they are around for like the entire game. There's there's like not getting rid of them. So that mission, I have not attempted that one yet. So that might be the next one that I might have to uh, appear on stream uh, with, but, Oh my gosh. Then we got card. We got cards. Go. We got cards going left, right, and center zap and the flamethrower. That is just a ridiculous combo against going against a snow trained mission that's just ridiculous <laughs> ridiculous anywho wow thank you for making me part of your thursday evening thank you for making me part of whenever you're watching this that's just awesome i'm glad to that people have are finding this content um, i love doing these playthroughs for everybody um, hopefully some people are finding it very helpful and informative and all of that lovely, lovely jazz. Again, if you've loved these videos, if you like these videos, please consider liking it, subscribing to the channel. Subscriptions, they, they just help us out, get notified. And speaking of notifications, hit the bell so that you get notified Tuesdays and Thursday nights. I'm going live playing some games. Next week, what am I doing next week? I'm not sure what I'm doing 100% next week. I think I'm going to do a little bit of Circadian's First Light next week. The, the, the Kickstarter is going live for the uh, expansions for Circadian's. Um, so maybe I should just get the base game out again, see how much I actually like, see if I like the game enough that I want to back the expansions. So that might be a thing. That might be a thing. Um, and I've been really, really wanting to get Turing Machine to the stream here. So I think that that might actually end up having to happen. Yeah, I think I'm going to talk myself into it. Circadians and Turing Machine. Let's try Let's try it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for making me part of this lovely evening or day or whenever you're watching this. And I'm going to see you later. See you next week. I'm taking the weekend off. Bye-bye. Take care. Cheers, everybody.